I right now I'm just walking and I'm walking in the land that I've been dreaming of for many years now and of course the devil would want me to walk around with my head hung low not seeing what the Lord has done I'm in the midst of a breakthrough in the midst of a miracle and I know in the name of Jesus that when God said that he's going to do something quickly, he means it in the name of Jesus. When he says that it's going to be an accelerated time for you, an accelerated time for your marriage, an accelerated time for your breakthrough, for you to come forth on the scene after having had been hidden, hidden, he means it. And yeah, sure, he can seem delayed many a times, but he, <laughs> there's a season of warfare and stuff, but there's also a season of rest. And many times we don't know how to rest. You know what I mean? When God told me, okay, warfare prayers in this, in these areas that you've been doing, it's over. I was like, huh, kind of scratching my head. And I was so disobedient, not so disobedient, but it took me a while to hear his whisper until he whispered through someone who was loud and clear. And then I still went to warfare praying. Guess what happened? Your girl lost her voice. <laughs> God was like, you're done. I was like, okay, I guess I'm done then. But um, there's a season of what seems to be captivity. And then there's another season of just rest. There, there's just, I believe that there's a lifestyle of rest that we can know. And sure, in that rest, we'll be warfaring for other people. It's not going to be perfect all the time. But there's a time when everything that you've ever known disintegrates. All the toxicity, all the familiar spirits operating through men and women who have come your way. There's a time when all of that subsides and God removes it far away from you and replaces, you, replaces it with what is supposed to be in your life in the name of Jesus. He places you right where he wants you. He opens up doors that no man can shut. So many family members around me. Um, if they can, if they're watching this and they identify, I love you still. And if not you, then I'm not talking about you if you happen to watch this. But friends, family have labeled me a certain way and I've had to do everything within my power to come outside of that, outside of the, their perceptions. And the Lord would have it that my wings are spread in a whole different land to, to be who he has called me to be without limitation, without fear, without judgment around the corner. I've not, I feel like today, after having it arrived um, Tuesday morning, I believe, 1 a.m. or so, today I, I'm beginning to feel the freedom that the Lord predestined me to know. And it only is up from here. And for someone listening, it's only up from where you are. The feelings that you're feeling, the heart is deceptive above all things. We got to rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We're going to be where God has called us to be. We're going to be wedded in the name of jesus and we're gonna fulfill our purpose mightily okay and these stubborn bullheaded spouses <laughs> trust me they're gonna love you how christ intended just be patient we got to be patient and endure i've seen quite a few people just depart from the faith and become worldly individuals just because god didn't do it how and when they desired for it to be done but if you just hold on a little while longer if you just continue to endure and praise him through it, the sacrifice of praise, it don't cost you nothing to hold on. It don't cost you nothing to believe. So you might as well hold on, okay? I was watching so many people around me be blessed. And, and literally, I had a dream earlier this year, right? And I think I'm gonna talk about this later, but it was raining everywhere. And <laughs> it happened to be raining when I arrived here and and, yeah, the rain was synonymous with the arrival of my entry into the promised land, okay? Long story short, I just, I remember I was in the line, right? And I was the first to fall back. And then all these people fell back behind me. It was like a sorority type of thing. It wasn't a sorority, but you know how when they do that fall back thing? Many, 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 many people fell behind me. And then in the dream, I see them all coming back up, right? One by one by one by one, many of them. And I didn't get to see myself come up. And then as my time is approaching, I hear Christmas time at Christmas time. And I was so angry. I was so angry to think that God was saying that <laughs> around Christmas time is when I'm gonna be blessed. I should have just sat there and rejoiced 
I wanted it to be right there and then. And that's when we get our heart broken and we get upset and we want to leave God because we want it right there and then. Sometimes we believe that the promise has failed and, and, and it's not going to happen just because we've grown impatient. But the devil is a liar and God is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And if he said it, that's what it's going to be, okay? And so I was saying all of that to say, I've been watching many people be blessed. It was almost like God was trying to taunt me with everyone coming around me saying, I got a breakthrough here, I got a breakthrough here. And it almost makes you feel like, dang, I look really dusty and crusty because I have absolutely nothing to be like, well, um, I'm breathing. <laughs> that that was what I had that I'm alive and well and that I'm in my right mind that is all that I had um but don't you ever think that God is a respecter of persons he will come through for you in the name of Jesus he will come through for you even at the time that you least expect it and for sure he is in the business of doing it quickly with a speed to where you can't keep up but he's got you it's going to be a fast ride up. And everybody who cultivated their voices together to rise up against you, I noticed that for me, they come in twos. They, I, they tag team me, <laughs> but God gives me the strength and I'm almost kind of flattered that it needs to be more than one person to come against me to tell me about my life, the irony of it. But he has given me a backbone to stand against that and stand in the truth that he has given me and declare and prophesy over my life in the midst of them. They come really loudly to come and tell me what I'm doing wrong, but when something goes right, I hear crickets. <laughs> it's funny, but he will reward you publicly. You make no mistake about that because God is not mocked, all right? So I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm a give a shout out and thanks to these people so i you know that i'm thanking you directly and that i didn't take your blessing for granted um i will see you in my next post okay i love you guys and have a good one bye